Welcome, this is Barry Jones from the Angel School and we're here for our weekly angel reading for October the 8th through the 14th of 2012. And so we're really um, getting at a sense that um, last week was very interesting for sure. Um, and I hope that you were all able to really um, get a different perspective about your life, you know, that you were able to get them um, to kind of just step away from um, the, the process that you were on in terms of manifestation and you were able to just really sit back and relax, let go, you know, celebrate, um, um, you know, to really just um, be with your loved ones and, and focus on nurturing yourselves and um, in your relationships as well and um, hopefully some of you um, experience reasons to celebrate maybe you um, began to get some glimpses of all of or signs of, of the hard work that and effort that you've been putting in um, and starting to see some results um, in terms of manifestation and and that the sense that I'm getting um, this week um, is a feeling of peace on earth a little bit for each one of us um, in some area of our life and um, that you know that uh, that you're beginning to also let go of some um, blocks um, that have been um, holding you back and kind of making you feel that you were um, at a standstill so to speak and that you're starting to um, find um, your way. Um, there's a sense that the angels uh, were giving me a message that, you know, letting, wanting you to know that your prayers and, um, and uh, have been answered and they've been heard and that they're working behind the scenes. They also want you to know that the guidance and your connection to God and your angels is very clear and that you should really trust what you've been receiving and the ascended masters and you know the whole universe is working behind the scenes for you so um and so at this time let's just take a look and see what's going on uh, we're working with the goddess guidance oracle cards by doreen virtue and uh, let's see what the the goddesses have to um, say to us in terms of messages for this week. We started with the first card, which is for the beginning of the week, Monday and Tuesday. Uh -huh. And so the card is the goddess Coventina, which is purification. And the card says, it is time for a cleansing detoxification of your body and mind. Okay, and so um, this is really a good time, you know, with to really um, treat your body um, and your mind as a, uh, something holy and sacred. And so when I see these two symbols of, and there we have that the dove, on, and she has one hand and um, the cup, um, the chalice, and the other. And, you know, um, it reminds us that we are divine beings, um, that we are holy spirits, and that um, and it, the chalice reminds us of our physical manifestation, our incarnation and in our physical body um, that, you know, that we contain, that contains the spirit. Um, and so, you know, if you've been getting any kind of signs right now, the first thing that came to me was really um, a sea salt bath. Um, and to really just to clear the negativity um, in your life, to continue to do that work is a sense I'm getting um, uh, that we've been doing in terms of our journaling and really um, becoming aware of the blocks that have been um getting in our way that we've been repeating to ourselves and in doing so they get offered in our prayers unknowingly um, and so we want to make sure that we're not listening to those things and so we want to be able to step forward um, with trust in the universe and a deeper connection and so 
the, the it's very important in, in order for us to be able to take those steps forward as we were talking about last week to move forward without fear um, we have to be very much aware of what our fears are and we need to um, as much as possible detox from that and so you know be aware of things that are in your environment and um, certain things like you know in the media not that we want to run away from these things but you know we don't have to allow everything that's going on uh, we don't have to take that on our shoulders and and take it into our being um, if, if we do then we can't come from a, a place of clarity where we're actually able to um, be able be of assistance um, to you know um, guide the guide or work in those situations so what I'm trying to say is is that um, sometimes you know I have some people I've spoken to and they really take things on um, into their bodies and then it makes it so that they can no longer function they can't really be of help or assistance so um, you know really um, taking care of your body you know what you eat but also um, you know the things that you engage in um, or interact with be discriminating about what that is for yourself and let's take a look at the card for the middle of the week and the card is Lakshmi and it says bright future and this card says stop worrying everything is going to be fine so this is the card for the middle of the week and um, you know this is a really great sign so that if there's anything um, that you're pursuing at this point of the week uh, for Wednesday and Thursday this is a sign to you know to go ahead um, this is also a sign that um, things are going to work out beautifully um, and so you can really have confidence and so just really um, let go of any kind of worries or concerns about how things are, may or may not flow and know that it's going to work out for your best and highest good so in those two days um, this is a great opportunity um, to act on uh, anything that you're been thinking about doing because it's a good sign that it, it's probably going to work out for you very well and have good results. Um, let's take a look at the last card for the weekend. And we have the card by the goddess uh, Siege. So it says quiet time. And we've had this card before. And it says take some time quiet time alone to rest meditate and contemplate and it's interesting um, this card uh, kind of also works in conjunction with the beginning of the week uh, with Coventina over here because I literally had the thought of med meditation as well and um, it's very interesting to you know to continue to build in um, a practice where we are where you're meditating especially um, to keep your mind clear and, and even if you just sit before 15 minutes and just quiet your mind um, to focus your mind on your breath and to so that you basically what you're trying to do in this kind of a meditation which is so important for our awareness in our own lives is that um, we focus on the present moment when we're just focused on the breath and our souls um, that we we form a bond and a connection with our soul and and, that, and the awareness of opportunities that divine is offering uh, us all the time in the present moment and so when because if we don't incorporate um, some kind of meditation uh, in our lives on a daily basis where we're practicing awareness we're practicing um, a connection with the divine and um, how to respond it's also teaching us through that awareness and that connection with the divine how to respond to life how to respond to the circumstances that are coming up 
uh, all around you. And the best way that you can be of assistance as a divine being um, ha and having that connection uh, to oneness. So whereas, you know, when something's going on in your life, um, usually we are being triggered by our fears, um, things that uh, our past um, experiences or our fears about the future. And when we, when we react from in that way, um, we don't always have the, the best outcome for ourselves. And so by building um, a practice of meditation where you make that connection with yourself and in relationship with your soul, um, and become aware of its guidance for you in the, the awareness of the present moment, you are be better uh, able to um, hear your, your guides, hear the message and the truth of your soul, and to feel more empowered in your each moment of your daily life. So, um, you know, really take some time to, um, over the weekend, and, and I would say throughout the week, um, and, and I get a sense that that by this purification and this work is really bringing us, clearing up our lives. I mean, the, this card um, with Lakshmi, with all this bright energy, it's like the meditation and the purification is... Uh, um, making our souls brighter, more expanded, more, um, and, 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 and in essence, drawing towards us um, higher frequency um, life experiences. And so that's very important for all of us. And so, you know, as you go through this week, um, just really, um, you know, just... Uh, make your connection deeper through the purification process which is of the mind and body which is meditation is also a form of purification um and so um it's like again it's very very important um even over the weekend if you have time to i'm just so attracted by these stars and um you know just sitting out um you know somewhere and just taking and having the opportunity to, um, you know, if you can have a front porch you can sit on or a balcony or, you know, where you can just be outside in nature in the, um, the starlight, under the starlight, and if you have that available to you and or you can go in your mind and meditation and just really um, get taking that energy. Also, again, I, I get a sense too of going out and and um, enjoying the nightlife for some reason as well um, with this card. So, um, so we, we, you know, just really um, enjoy, continue to enjoy yourself, um, continue to trust uh, the signs that you've been receiving um, in terms of manifestation in your life, um, take care of yourself and be very healthy to your body and your spirit. Um, and that's what the meditation is, is, is like, um, the hygiene for your soul. So we really uh, thank you all for all of your comments um, that you sent me last week. I read them all and um, they were really inspiring to my heart and um, it, it gives me a great pleasure to uh, be able to do this with you each week. Um, and so, you know, continue to um, share with your friends um, what we're doing here at the, at the Angel School, uh, subscribe so that you can um, continue to receive any updates um, from the channel. And also, um, you know, definitely um, if you like our the videos that we've been doing, uh, please um, uh, do that. Show us that on the, with the like button. And um, if you'd like to um, contact me or um, ask me any questions or have a personal reading. Um, I had said from September 10th to October um, 10th that um, I'd be giving um, readings, angel readings for $66 um, for that time period. So um, if you have been thinking about it um, and you feel comfortable and you feel that this is something that um, your soul is guiding you to do, 
um, then you know then you're more than welcome to to um, contact me either through the um, angelschool.com and these links are in the description below uh, on the Facebook page for the Angel School uh, Twitter um, you you know you can contact me there um, to if you'd like to set an appointment or if you would just like to just share um, what you've been experiencing um, through the week and if you have uh, any you know things that you want to share with other uh, viewers about what's been going on in your life anything that you're learning um, this would be uh, great and appreciated and would love to uh, hear from you in any form that you um, feel is appropriate so I want to just wish you all a beautiful week um, and um, we're sending you so much love and support and just keep hanging in there Keep your faith, um, keep your energy high, you know, and uh, we're surrounding you with wings of love. And I'm just calling in so many angels and all of your guys to just really strengthen their their um, support of you and their communication with you to just clear your energy, to lift you up into higher vibrations and uh, wishing you more, more, and more pure abundance and knowing of your truth and power. And so until next week, God bless you.